No, ¿Y de dónde es de ayer? Ay, 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 But anyways, we have to take care of ourselves, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Pedro, I think, is ready, too. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi, Pedro. <laughs> Hi. You are, you, are, uh, you are very safe, I can see. <laughs> no, a little. It's a uh, super uh, selectos. Um, I... Then minutes I go to come back and only watch all the people with the virus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are worried because of that. <laughs> yes, anyway. we, have, we have a big problem in this moment, but... Mm -hmm. And you work in a factory, right? But the factory didn't close. The factory is in the right now, the closest. I to... In the morning, I I I, I was um, um, making the the for different um, the exportation and the uh, uh, distribution center, Palmetto, Bowling Green, L7 Mexico, but uh, only to put in the, the packing list uh, with my co-workers and, and personal so in this moment uh, to close and and to um to send that all the people at, at the home okay yeah so it was a very quick it was a very yeah. quick visit <laughs> in the six six a.m in the in the plan for okay to, to change the instruction and to give the, the 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 new proposal from to uh, um, the the day when they come back. This, uh -huh. this yeah, we don't know when we are going to start working yes, this, normally, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. it's a similar forty day, but in this moment it's a less day. But it's only in this moment use the the mask and the uh, uh, alcohol too, and mm -hmm. to no no visit never uh, places only that in the home. Yeah, you need to stay at home and 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 relax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean you. I mean you should take it like vacations, but in your house, not outside. You know. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. Uh -huh. But with a and, and, and somebody I, with uh, my 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 chicken babies. <laughs> yeah, I know some people. Some people like to go to the beach, you know, or they like yeah. to visit other places. But that's not the recommendation. It's incorrect. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is incorrect. <laughs> what about you, Saida? Are you working right now? I mean, did you work in the morning? Yes, I was. Yeah. Yes, I work. And were you and scared? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> I attend the uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. But I'm were you very nervous? Were you wearing a mask? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Alcohol help too. <laughs> Alcohol help too. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I and mean, you? Yeah. You can protect yourself. Well, I stayed in my house. I didn't go to work. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because I live in Metapan, so hmm. this is very difficult. <laughs> we can't go out. Yeah. Um, yes, they closed the car. The, the yeah, they closed the, the street. Yeah. Yeah, and my boss tell me, no, you should rest. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I did. I woke up at 10 a.m. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I was I was relaxing, but then I helped my mother to to 
to clean the house because we're cleaning the house. We are putting some spray with uh, lejia. I forgot how to say lejia in, in English. Um, and also we were cleaning. My sister and my father were helping too. And we stayed in the house because, uh, okay, I told my mom, you know, mom, this is going to happen. So maybe you should start buying some things, you know? And she started to buy little by little some things for the house. And now we don't, we don't have any problem with the food or anything. Because I told her maybe little by little we can buy some things, you know? And uh, some weeks ago, that's what we did. We were buying some things little by little, and I think we can survive <laughs> for two weeks, probably. <laughs> yeah. The history, the history say ever in the in this kind of uh, closet, nine months and, and after or before, is a yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> increase the the. <laughs> The chances, yeah, the chances, yeah, I know, I know. Um, but yeah, I mean, in it is, I mean, what we have to do is just to relax and uh, and when we are sleeping, we are not hungry, so I think I can sleep all day. <laughs> okay. okay. So, yeah, I mean. Changing the activities. Yeah, I know, I mean, I can play video games all day. <laughs> And also I am working in the computer because I have a lot of students in the university, so they need my my they need my guidance. I need to tell them, okay guys, do the exercises please. <laughs> okay. okay. Or right. you need to check the class, you need to send me the picture or something, and blah blah blah. Sometimes they forget, so that's why I need to uh help them to remind. But yeah, I, I like working from home. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't have any problems. I like technology, mm -hmm. and uh, my students uh, have practiced. Yes, it's a good. Yeah, because I like to use some apps uh, for them to send me the 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 homework assignments and uh, all the different information about the class. So yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I think tomorrow I'm going to start. I'm going to start doing the classes for the next week, so that they are prepared. Mm -hmm. And, and the platform, uh, my Zoom, have uh, many homework. Yeah, in the platform, they have a lot of homework. But it is mostly practice because I use another platform in which they participate only two times. And that's like the whole participation. But then uh, all the exercises in the platform are for practice only. They are not... Uh, they are not obligated. They are just for practice, if they want to practice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Mary Elena? Did you go to work? Uh, no. In my institution, um, uh -huh. uh, send all people at house. Do they send, yeah, they send them to the house. Uh -huh. uh, I want to work. Tele, tele trap, tele work, no, tele ah, telework. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. uh, today send uh, informes, no sé cómo. Uh, an inform? Informs. Mm -hmm. um, or a report? Cleaning my house. <laughs> a yeah. report. Uh -huh. Cleaning my house. Uh -huh. um, yeah, help we Mm -hmm. Help my 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 dad or my son in, in your homework. It's ah, okay. Muchas, muchas, they, more. They have a lot of activities. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, I see the news. Mm -hmm. um, only the. Oh, Only that. that. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. But yeah, we have to relax. We need to take into consideration all the all the recommendations, and I think we're going to be fine. Okay. So don't worry. Uh, we're going to start the class. I'm going to do a very short review um, about yesterday's class, and we're going to do a couple of practices more. And um, just for your information, after this class, over the weekend, it is important that it is important to do the 
knowledge check, okay? Which is the test that we have in the middle of the course, okay? So we're okay. going to have a test. It has around four to five parts. It is very easy, okay? Actually, after this class, I'm going to show you the different parts that you're going to do. I will try to explain what you are going to do, okay? So that you can do this on the weekend, okay? Remember that this is only one of the two tests that you are going to do, okay? This is the first one, and the second one you do it at the end, okay? You do it at the end when you have finished the five sections, okay? So okay. today we are going to finish section number three, okay? So uh, let's remember a little bit about so and two, okay? Uh, as I said yesterday, it is important to understand the auxiliary that we are using for each of the sentences, okay? For example, I am 30 years old. In this case, the auxiliary is the verb to be, which is am, okay? Also, I have another sentence, he is a student. In this case, the auxiliary is is, okay? because that's another part of the verb to be. We have am, is, and are, okay? Whenever we have a sentence using that, that means that we are going to change it a little bit so that we can answer me too, but in a different way. So we have, so am I, I am too. Uh, in this case, it is important to use the comma when, uh, when I am uh, using too, okay? It is important to use a comma in this case. Uh, and that's for all the cases, okay? I am two, she is two, etc. okay? The second case is when we have the auxiliary can or the modal can, okay? I can play the guitar, so can I? I can too, okay? This can also happen with another person. She can play the guitar, so can he? He can too, okay? Uh, that's the word that we need to pay attention to. Okay, esa es la palabra la que tenemos que poner atención. Uh, because that is going to give us the sentence or the answer to say me too. Eso nos va a dar el indicador de cómo decir me too, pero usando esas pequeñas frases, okay? Um, luego hablábamos del verb, uh, del simple present. That in this case, we have the verb or the auxiliary hidden. Está como escondido, okay? So, but one clue, una, una pista de cómo encontrar el, 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 el auxiliary is to change this sentence to the negative. So I study English at English Corporativo. I don't study English at English Corporativo. In that case, we can understand that do is the auxiliary and that we can um, use the phrase using the word do, okay, do. The same thing happens with, I have another sentence, Pedro fixes his car, so does she, she does too, okay, she does too. And uh, well, and also we have uh, a phrase that we can say for the opposite, okay. For example, I can play the guitar, Really? I can't, or I cannot, okay? And in the case of the simple present, really? I don't, okay? Uh -huh. Really? I don't. In the case of the verb to be, really? I am not, okay? So that um, those are some phrases that we were practicing. After that, we went, we moved on to the negative. In this case, we were translating this like yo tampoco, okay? Yo tampoco. So it is like me too, but in negative, okay? Yo tampoco. So I am not a doctor. We said that neither takes the same position as so. Toma la misma posición que so. E either toma la misma posición de too, okay? La única diferencia es que esto lo vamos a usar únicamente para negativos, okay? I am not a doctor. Neither am I, I am not either, okay? And then if we want to, if we want to say that in affirmative, si queremos decir la respuesta en affirmative, really, I am, okay? I am. 
Let's see the next one. I can't swim. Neither can I. I can't either. Okay. Really? I can. Todo depende si la oración está en afirmativo o negativo. Si voy a usar su, so, sorry, so, or neither, o to, or either. Okay. Todo de eso depende. Depende del, de la oración. Depende en, si está en afirmativo o negativo. And finally, I don't have a car. En este caso es más fácil encontrar cuál es el, eh, el auxiliar. Neither do I. I don't either. Really? I do. Okay. Luego hicimos un par de prácticas. Eh, eh, luego hicimos un par de prácticas por acá. Y de hecho tengo más prácticas de similares a las que hicimos anteriormente. Para que... Eh, podamos tener eso un poco más claro. Eh, ya, tu, ya hicieron la, 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 el examen sobre ese tema en la plataforma. No, teacher. No. Yes, teacher. Yes. El examen. Yes. Ajá, la, 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 la parte the de exercise. la exercise. Ajá, the exercise after this topic. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. uh, in the, in the dry tomorrow. tomorrow, okay. I yes. don't remember, teacher. <laughs> you don't remember. <laughs> De hecho, les quiero mostrar uno para que vean cómo se, sería en ese caso, ¿ok? okay. Ya después de, ese, después de ese ejercicio lo vamos a hacer en la plataforma para que, para que veamos cómo lo tenemos que hacer ahí, ¿ok? Eh, luego tenemos un par de oraciones acá en las que ustedes me respondían, pero eso ya les hicimos ayer, así que tengo otra más acá, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, I have a child. I have a child. So... This, this sentence in affirmative or in negative? Está en afirmativo o en negativo? Affirmative. Affirmative. Ok. Entonces significa que solo tengo dos opciones. Tengo so or to. Uh -huh. So or to. Ahora, so si que, ahora si lo quiero hacer este negativo, tendría que usar el, el, el auxiliar de esa oración, pero en negativo. Ok. Entonces, primero... ¿Cuál sería esta oración en negativo? I have a child. ¿Cómo sería en negativo? I have not. I, I don't child. have a child. I don't, ah, I don't, I don't, have, don't, a I don't, I don't have, have a child. Entonces, ¿cuál sería el auxiliar para esta, esta oración? I have a child. Do. 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 Uh -huh. Entonces, vamos a ver. Eh, Pedro, I have a child. So, have a, so do I. So do I. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Como mencionamos que el, el sujeto, perdón, el auxiliar era do, vamos yeah. a hacer la respuesta en basados en do. Okay. So do I. Uh, let's see, Margarita, I have a child. ¿Cuál sería la segunda? Um, I am, um, I do two. Excellent. Okay. I do two. Okay. I do two. Entonces, eso serían las dos posiciones. Ok, so do I, I do too. And let's see, what is the negative? Uh, Saida, I have a child. Really, I don't. Excellent, ok, really, I don't. Ok, really, I don't. Excellent, nice job. Next one. I can't ride a motorcycle. Is this affirmative or negative? Negative. 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 That means that I have to use neither or either. Okay? Those are the only options that I have. Okay? Let's see. I can't ride a motorcycle. Maria Elena. Mm -hmm. mm, neither. Um, neither too. What is the auxiliary in this case? ¿Cuál es el auxiliary in este caso? Neither can. Neither can I. Neither can I. Neither can I. Neither can I. Perfect. Okay. Como acá en la oración tengo can, significa que tengo que usar can. En este caso, como el do está escondido por ahí, tengo que usar do. Okay. Porque estoy hablando de una rutina o de información mía o de eh, actividad. Actividades, perdón. Okay. Eh, vamos a ver. The next case. Uh, I can't ride a motorcycle, Pedro. I can either. I can't either. Okay. 
I can't either. And I let's see, um, Saida, I can't ride a motorcycle. Really, I am. Is the auxiliary? I can. Uh -huh. Really, I can, okay? I can. Really, I can, perfect, okay? The next one. My mother is 51 years old. My mother is 51 years old, okay? We're going to compare these two with your own mother, okay? With your mother, okay? In the case of my mother is 51 years old. Let's pretend that your mom is also 51 years old, okay? Probably she is older or younger, I don't know. But at least my mom is 51 years old. Let's pretend that it is, it is the same for you, okay? Let's see. Uh, my mother is 51 years old. What is the auxiliary or the principal verb here? Uh -huh. What do you think is the principal verb in this case? Is. Uh -huh. Is. Uh -huh. We are using the verb to be, okay? Uh -huh. So I need to answer with the verb to be as well. So in this case, is affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Mm -hmm. We have affirmative sentence. So that means I can use so and to, okay? So and to. Uh -huh. Let's see. My mother so? is 51 years old. Maria Elena, what do you think? Uh, uh -huh. me too. Mm -hmm. So me too. <laughs> no. No. What, no. What is the verb? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería um, el verbo en este caso? Uh -huh. Is she is. She is too. Is she so is, is, she, is, is, she, is she. So is she. Uh -huh. So is she. Perfect. Okay. So is she. And Margarita, what is the second option? Is she two? According to the the structure, the uh, la estructura que tengo arriba, qué va primero? She is two. Excellent. Okay. She is two. Okay. She is two. Perfect. And my mother is 51 years old. Pedro, what is the uh, negative part? Really, really, she isn't. Excellent. Really, she isn't. Okay. Really, yeah. she isn't. Excellent. The next one. I don't watch TV in the afternoon. Is this affirmative or negative? Negative. Negative. Okay. What are, the, what, what are the two options that I have? Mm -hmm. Neither. Neither and either. Okay, neither and either. Those are the two options that I have. Okay, so let's see. I don't watch TV in the afternoon. Saida. Neither do I. Excellent. Neither do I. Perfect. Okay. Um, Margarita, I don't watch TV in the afternoon. I can either. Ah, what is the auxiliary that we are using? I don't, I don't either. Ah, okay, I don't either. I don't either. Uh -huh. I don't either. And uh, I don't watch TV in the afternoon, Maria Elena. What is the affirmative? Really? Mm -hmm. I, I don't do. Do. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. Really? I do. Because we have don't here, which is a negative. So... It has to be affirmative here, okay? And the last one. Oh, well, I have, I have two more, okay? I am not a singer. I am not a singer. Is this affirmative or negative? Negative. Negative, okay? So, um, I need to, I have two options, just like in the same case, okay? I have neither and either. Let's see. Um, Pedro, I am not a singer. Only in the bathroom is it possible. <laughs> <laughs> like a profession. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, um, neither, neither uh, am I. Uh -huh, neither am I. Perfect. Neither am I. 
Um, Saida, I am not a singer. I, I not either. Okay, I am not either. Perfect. And uh, Margarita, I am not a singer. Really? I am not. Ah, we have not here. So what is the opposite? I am. Um, uh -huh. I am. I am. Okay. Perfect. I am. Uh -huh. Really? I am. Okay. I am. Excellent. And the last one. I can use Twitter. I can use Twitter. Let's see, Saida. I can use Twitter. So can I. Excellent. So can I. Uh -huh. Marilena, I can use Twitter. Um, I, I am not. No, I, I can. Uh -huh. I can. I can too. Uh -huh. I can too. Excellent. And uh, Pedro, what is the negative? Really? I can't. Okay, really? I can't. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So, this is how we use the short, uh, the short phrases. This is how we use the short phrases. So let me show you. Uh, let's see, what is it? The exercise on the platform. Okay, a second. Okay. Here I have it. Yeah. Okay, so um, in 3.4, it says instructions, write responses to show agreement with these statements, okay? Escriba la respuesta donde afirma o niega a los siguientes enunciados, okay? For example, I am not crazy about French food. I am not crazy about French food. First of all, affirmative or negative? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's negative. It is negative. Oh, uh -huh. so that means that I can use neither or either. Okay, neither or either. So which one do you prefer? Neither. Neither. Okay. Neither. So neither what? I. I. Am I? Am I? Uh -huh. Neither am I. Uh -huh. Neither am I. Okay. Let's see the answer. Yeah, okay. am I. Okay. Ah. yeah, that's it. Okay. In some cases, in some cases, it is important that you check the comma. Okay. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, yo ya había hecho las últimas dos solo para corroborarme que de verdad funcionaba. Y en una, eh, sí tenía que poner coma. Pero digo en cuál. Por ejemplo, I always eat healthy food. Ah, I do too. Okay. I do too. Si le pongo así, está correcto. Pero si no le pongo la coma, ya me lo tiene incorrecto. ¿Okay? Entonces es importante ponerle la coma siempre acá, después de cuando usted va a usar to o either, es importante que le ponga la coma. De lo contrario, se lo va a tomar como incorrecto. ¿Okay? Y, no y no use el punto, porque el punto ya está acá al final de la, de la, de la línea. ¿Okay? Entonces, en ese caso, no tiene que usar el punto, sino que nada más es de poner cuidado a la coma si usted usa to o si usa either. Si usa so o si usa neither, en ese caso no habría problema. Okay. Incluso, quiero ver cómo estamos con las mayúsculas aquí. Ajá. Incluso acá no hay problema si pone la primera mayúscula o minúscula. Okay. Así que eh, únicamente hay que tener cuidado con la coma. Si usted va a usar to o si va a usar either, ¿okay? Porque esos son los únicos casos que, que, que estuve viendo que sí dan problemas, ¿ok? De lo contrario, los demás no tendrían que darle problemas, ¿ok? ¿Any question? No. No, teacher. Ok, perfect. Let's see. Okay, we're going to finish with the section number three. Vamos a terminar con la section number three. And 
we're going to practice one conversation. Okay, let's see. Uh, listen, listen to the conversation. Ordering a meal. Do you know the meaning of meal? Uh -huh. Food. Yeah, it's like ordering food or mm -hmm. ordering. We we call meal uh, the time of the of the food. For example, a mm -hmm. uh, breakfast is a meal. Mm -hmm. A lunch is a meal, okay? And dinner is another meal, okay? So that is a meal, ordering a meal, okay? Let's see, listen to me. Uh, may I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb, ke lamb kebabs. All right, would you like a salad? Uh, yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Let's listen again. May I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Um, do you see any new word? Alguna palabra que no conozcan? Dressing. A dressing. Um, mm -hmm. Aderezo, okay. Mm. okay. What kind of dressing would you like? Uh -huh. oh, ¿Qué tipo de aderezo necesita? Uh -huh. Blue cheese or vinegar? ¿Qué sería blue cheese? Eh, no sé cómo se dice blue cheese en español, pero... No es un queso azul, sino que es un tipo de queso, ¿ok? okay. Es, un tipo de, es un tipo de queso. Y eh, vinagrette, que sería como vinagre, uh -huh. o vinagreta, ¿ok? Uh, another question, otra pregunta. Lamb kebab. Lamb kebab. Lamb kebab. Uh -huh. Lamb, uh -huh. nunca lo habían escuchado. Lamb. Lamb. Lamb en cordero. Ajá. Cordero, ok. Uh -huh. Cordero, uh -huh. cordero, ok. Ya, yeah, cordero. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Soplando mis hijos aquí. Ah, ok. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, lamb. Uh, de cordero, es cordero. I, I don't think it is very common to eat that here in El Salvador, right? No es muy común eh, comer eh, cordero acá en El, en el Salvador. Eh, y kebabs serían pinchos. Pinchos. Uh -huh. Pinchos. Uh -huh. But, Entonces ahí pueden haber, por ejemplo, eh, I don't know, meat kebabs, eh, pinchos de carne, o no sé qué otros tipos de pinchos pueden haber. Ustedes que son conocedores. <risa> Vegetarianos. Ah, ah veget de queso. Ah, ok. Ajá, uh, veg seafood. vegetarian, vegetarian kebabs. Seafood, uh -huh. seafood kebabs. Ah, seafood kebabs. Uh -huh. Seafood. Uh -huh. I, prefer the, I prefer the seafood, the shrimp. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> the shrimp. The shrimp. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, those are kebabs, okay, pinchos. Uh -huh. uh, also res, uh, in res we call it beef. Beef kebabs. Vegetable uh -huh. kebabs for uh -huh. the... the Vegetarians? Uh -huh. Vegetarian, yes, people. Uh -huh. Vegetarian uh -huh. people. Yeah, vegetable kebabs. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh -huh. Any other word? Alguna otra palabra? Seafood kebab. Seafood. Eh, seafood era como de mariscos. Uh -huh. Kebabs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Seafood kebabs. Uh -huh. Pinchos de mariscos, uh -huh. o pinchos de, de, de camarones, sería shrimp kebabs. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Shrimp with the beer. <laughs> cool, beer. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Pedro, relax. <laughs> yeah, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to have, we're not going to enjoy the, the Holy Quick vacations this year, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you to have prepare to, the weekend. To yeah, we, no, we have to. We have to stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh -huh. We All have right. quarantine. Yeah, we have quarantine, so yeah, you have to respect that. <laughs> All right. So let's see. 
Uh, Pedro, you are the waiter, and Maria Elena, you are the customer. Okay. May I take your order? Yes, I did like a lamb kebab. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, we'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? <laughs> we, have we have blue. We have blue cheese and vinegar. Mm -hmm. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I do like a large ice tea, please. Okay, okay. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Saida, you are the waiter. And Margarita, you are the customer, okay? May I take your order? Mm -hmm. Margarita? Margarita, hello. Hola. You are the customer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ese fue el audio. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no problem. Me voy a cortar. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. May I take your order? Yes, I I did like the lamp kebab. All right, and what you what you like a salad? Yes, I will have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like large iced tea, please. Okay, perfect. Nice, nice. Okay, so repeat, please. Kebabs. 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 Uh -huh. Kebabs. Kebabs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a very uncommon word, okay? That is uncommon. But yeah, pinches are very common. <laughs> but we don't know how to say pinches, okay? But now we know, kebabs, okay? Kebabs, all right. So remember that some classes ago, we learned how to use uh, can, could, may, uh, should, suggest, okay? Those words were, I mean, we were practicing those words. Uh, we're going to practice the last two um, models, which are would, and will, okay? Will and will. And we're going to use it for requests, igual, para hacer, para pedir algo, okay? As you can see in the conversation, así como pueden ver en la conversación, eh, tenemos eh, un mesero y un, y un comensal o una persona que está ordenando en un restaurante, okay? So, vamos a ver cómo se usa good. Actually, this is very, very easy, and I think you're going to learn it very quickly, okay? We're going to see how to use would, okay? Primero que todo, podemos usar would en una pregunta. Y que podría ser una yes, no question. Entonces, en este caso, I have the first question. Would you like to drink coffee? Would you like to drink coffee? Okay. So, for this case, we have only two answers. Yes. Yes, I would. Because we, the question is with would. So I need to answer with would. What do you think is a negative of would? Wouldn't. Uh -huh. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Okay, wouldn't. Uh -huh. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Okay. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. So that's very, that's very simple. Okay, let's see. Uh, Margarita, would you like, would you like, well, do you have a car, Margarita? Please. Do, do you me? have Do you have a car? Yes, I have. Ah, yes, okay. I will. No, but right now it's like, do you have a car? Do you have right now a car? Tiene un carro ahorita, no, o no, o lo, o o lo quisiera. Yes, I have. Ah, okay. Yes, you have one. Okay, let's see. Um, do you have? Mm, do you have an iPhone? No, I have. No, I haven't. No, I don't. Uh -huh. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Okay, no, but I don't would you like to have uh, an iPhone? 
Um, no, I don't like. You don't like it? <laughs> I <Okay>. don't. <laughs> That's not, not I, a problem. Uh -huh. I dislike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't like it. Okay, let's see. Saida, hi Saida, do you have a car, Saida? No, I don't have. Would you like to have a car? Yes, I would like. Ah, okay, nice, nice, excellent. Okay, so if you see in this case, it is very simple to ask, and also it is very simple to answer. Um, but we're going to see how to use would because we can use would for two cases, okay? But I want you to focus right now on the answer that it is very simple. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see now information questions. As you know, information questions can be answered only using complete sentences. Okay. Only using complete sentences. So, over here, I have the first question. What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? In this case, you can say, I would like to drink, uh, or I would like to, yeah, I would like to drink a soda, okay? I would like to drink a soda. Or you can say, I would like a soda. What is the difference between sentence number one and sentence number two? I would like to drink a soda and I would like a soda. What is the difference? The WH question. No, but two. what is the, the difference between these two, two sentences? Two. With the verb, the infinitive to drink. Uh -huh. Ah, we have, we have an infinitive there. Infinitive. Drink, uh-huh. And drink. the other one, we have only I would like a soda, okay? Mm -hmm. So, in meaning, okay, in understanding this, the, the sentence, both of them are correct. Para entender la oración, las dos están correctas. Mm -hmm. La única diferencia es que si se fija después de I would like, in the first case, en el primer caso tengo to drink, que sería un infinitive. Mm -hmm. En el segundo caso, I would like, no tengo un infinitive, sino lo que tengo es un objeto. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso también se puede. Ahí tenemos las dos opciones. Entonces, usted puede decir, uh, I would like to have a car. Ok, quisiera tener un carro. I would like to have a car. O simplemente usted puede decir, I would like a car. I would like a car. Ok. Entonces, ya traducidos, ¿cómo se diría? I would like to drink a soda. Me gustaría tomar una soda. Okay. Y la segunda, I would like a soda. Me gustaría una soda. Ok. Me gustaría una soda. Si se fijan, la única diferencia es ese, ese verbo que tengo ahí. For more specific, the, the sentence. Ajá, the, the first one is more specific. La primera es más específica, pero igual, o sea, sabemos que una semana no se la va a comer a mordida, sino que se la, se la va a tomar. Entonces, siento que por veces el to drink o... Hay unas frases que, que están como de más, pero gramaticalmente ambas están correctas. ¿Ok? Entonces, ahí lo que tenemos que fijarnos es que si después, eh, si después de like tengo un verbo o voy a usar un verbo, tengo que usar to. De lo contrario, si solo tengo un objeto, tengo que, no tengo que usar to, solo pongo el objeto. ¿Okay? Entonces, algo así viene también parecido en ejercicio en la plataforma, por eso quiero que ah, entendamos okay. bien esto. ¿Okay? Ajá, quiero que entendamos bien esto. Igual, más adelante vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica para que lo manejemos bien. Okay? But this is like the principal, uh, the principal idea. Okay? You can have, I would like to drink, I would like to have, I would, I would like to watch, I would like to dance, I would like to blah, blah, blah. Okay? There are many activities. Or you can say the object. I would like a soda, I would like a cell phone, I would like water. Uh, any object. Okay? Any object. Right? Now, also, we can use will. Will can be used also for a request. But we are going to see two cases for will. Okay? Vamos a ver cómo se usan. Eh, eso sería en cuanto a la, a la pregunta. And we have a, an answer here. También tenemos una respuesta. Pero quiero enseñarles cómo se respondería usando will. 
I would like water, please. I will have water, please. So what do you think is the difference between one and another? I would like water, please. I will have water. Mm -hmm. It is a possibility in the next, in the future, but uh, it's from... Yeah, um, it can be possible. Uh -huh. I would mm -hmm. like water, please. Ese ya es un poco más, es un poco más eh, eh, cortés. Okay. Me gustaría agua, por favor. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would like water. La otra, I will have water, is like, eh, sí, agua voy a tomar. Okay. <laughs> so it is like less polite, let's say. Okay. But the two cases are possible. En ese caso, ambos son correctos. Okay. Ahora, eso lo puedo hacer más pequeño. Ok. Eso lo puedo hacer más pequeño. Lo puedo contractar. Puedo contractar I would and I will. And the contraction is like this. I'd. I'd like water, please. And I'll have water, please. Ok. I'll have water, please. Ok. Lo puedo hacer más pequeño. Lo puedo contractar. Ok. I would like water, please. I will have water, please. I'd like water, please. I'll have water, please. Okay? Lo puedo contractar ambos. Okay? Igual, acá lo que importa es este, la manera en que usted quiera responder. Y también lo que voy a usar después de I would like. Okay? I would like. All right? Vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica de esto ahorita. Okay? I have a series of sentences here. Tengo una serie de oraciones acá. Que vamos a completar usando would. Eh, yeah, we're going to use would. Okay, so vamos a practicar would aquí. All right. Uh, number one, I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Okay. Entonces, como después del espacio tengo a glass of water, tengo que poner solo I would like. No tengo que poner I would like to. Okay. To, únicamente lo voy a usar para verbos. In this case, a glass of water no es un verbo, sino que es un objeto. All right? Let's see. Number two. Um, what do you think? How can I complete, how can I complete the, the question? Remember the two types of questions that we saw? ¿Recuerdan los dos tipos de preguntas que vimos? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería la primera? Le puedo dar una pista. Eso es una yes, no. Entonces, ¿con qué empezaría la yes, no question? Uh -huh. ¿Con qué iniciaría la yes, no question in this case? Do you? ¿Hm? Or would you? Would you? Ajá. Uh -huh. Would you what? Would you care? Would you take a break? No. ¿Qué es lo que me hace falta para terminar la frase? El verb. verb. Mm -hmm. Ajá, que sería like. 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 Ajá. Would you like a break? Yes, we. Yes, we would. Ajá, yes, we would. Excellent. Okay. Yes, we will. Okay, perfect. Okay. Would you like a break? Yes, we will. Okay. Let's see the next, the next exercise. I don't understand this. I. Ooh. I would care. I would like. I would like to. Okay. I would like, I would some like some help, help with my homework. Okay. Some help yeah. with my homework. Because in that case, some is not a verb, okay? Some no es un verbo, entonces solo pongo, I would like some help with my homework, okay? Let's see, number four. Uh, Patrick, go to the supermarket. He needs milk. What do you think in this case? Mm -hmm. Patrick. Patrick. 
Okay, well, well, okay. Mm. Would, what did like, would like go? Would like go to the would supermarket. Okay, after like, ¿qué tengo? Oh, no. ¿Un verbo o un objeto? Verbo. No, es un verbo. Verb. The verb. Ajá, entonces, ¿cuál sería la frase? How? No, siempre sería would like. What you would would verb. like. Pero me falta una cosita más. Mm, two. Two. Uh -huh. two. Okay. I would like to go to the supermarket. Okay. Yeah. Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. En ese caso tengo que poner to porque estoy hablando de una actividad o de un verbo. Okay. In that case, yes. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Number five. Would Tom like come with you? Number five. Let's see. Give me a second. Would Tom? Would Tom like? Okay. Give me a second. <laughs> My word, my, my Microsoft Word is. I think it has coronavirus. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. In this case, it's similar to number two. Would, would Tom like? Would Tom like? Well, we need to see everything. To come. To come. Okay. To uh -huh. come. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Infinity bear. So, uh, let's see. Would. Tom like to come. Like uh -huh. to. Uh -huh. um, will Tom like to? Yes, he would. Uh -huh. Yes, he would. As, Excellent. As, yes, he would. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay. Yes, he will. Okay, give me a second. Yes, he will. Okay. Perfect. Uh, number six, vamos a hacer los orales, okay? Can I help you? Yes. I would like a ticket. I would like uh -huh. a ticket. I would like a ticket. Melbourne. Uh -huh. En ese caso no voy a usar tú porque lo que sigue es un ticket. Entonces, no es un verbo, okay? Mm -hmm. I would like a ticket. Yes, I would. Uh -huh. Yes, I would. Uh, my friends. Would like to come. Ah, ok. Would like to come. Como aquí tengo un verbo, si tengo que usar to. Ok. Yes, my friends would like to come to the party next week. Number eight. Would you like to work a Saturday? Ah, would you like no, to I work? Would. Uh, would no, you I like would. to work on Saturday? Como el ver, sería el verbo work, tengo que, tengo que poner to. Ok. <laughs> would you like to work on Saturday? No. No, I wouldn't. No, I, no I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't. Okay. Let's see, number nine, Margarita. You're going to tell me number nine. Uh, would you like chocolate? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you like chocolate ice cream? Chocolate or... ice cream or vanilla ice cream. Excellent. Okay. Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Let's see. Number 10, Maria Elena. Delicious. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you like to see a movie? Uh -huh, excellent. Would you like to see a movie? Marilena, completely? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Excellent. Okay. No, I wouldn't. Number 11, Pedro. What do you like to do tomorrow? Ah, what would you like to do tomorrow? Excellent. Okay. And finally, number 12, Margarita. Uh, who wants who would who would to like to some, some candy? Who would like some candy? Who, who would, would like, like some candy? candy? Uh -huh. Who would like some candy? ¿Quién, quién quisiera algunos dulces? Okay. We? We would. We would. Excellent. Okay. We would. Entonces... Más o menos así es como va el ejercicio en, en, en la plataforma, ¿ok? De hecho, creo que tenemos okay. un par de minutitos, se los voy a mostrar para que lo vean. ¿Okay? Entonces ya terminamos, bueno, ya saben qué hacer en la parte 3.4, de ahí nos vamos a saltar a las 3.11, porque esa es la que está para ese ejercicio, ¿ok? Igual aquí está súper fácil porque solo tienen dos opciones, ¿ok? Uh, Where, what, 
what will you like to order or what would you like to order? I used to see the component. A customer, I, I have or I'll have. Ahí tiene que saber cuál sería la más opcional. Y así sucesivamente. Okay. Hasta terminar las siete participaciones. Solo es de elegir will o eh, will. All right. Dice que así está de fácil. Y luego creo que puede hacer la 3.13, que sería un listening, en la que solo tiene que elegir una de las dos opciones. Ok, así que está fácil. Ok. Uh -huh. Así que ya tienen tarea para este fin de semana. El reto es terminar la sección número 3 y luego hacer el examen de midterm. Ok, para que, para que pueda avanzar sin problemas y empezamos la, la sección 4 la otra semana. Ok. Ok. All right. So thank Bye -bye. you so much, okay. everybody. Thank you, chair. Have a good, good night. And, and take care, okay? Uh, I have thank to you. move time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Happy nice day.